Tuesday, the National Identification Authority began the registration of members of Parliament and the Parliamentary Service staff for the Ghana card at Parliament House in Accra. The exercise is expected to last two weeks. The registration exercise on Tuesday started at 10.30 a.m. at two separate centres, one for members of parliament and the other for parliamentary service staff. The four processes involved are records taking, enrolment, printing and issuance and verification. Some MPs could not provide all the documents required, such as tax identification number or passport. The process also delayed at the various stages for over an hour for one card to be issued. Finally, at about 12 noon, the chairman for the Committee for Gender, Children and Social Protection had his card. The beginning of any process is a bit cumbersome. I don't expect that cumbersome process to continue, and I hope that a the length of time that one needs to spend will be a bit shorter, shorter than what I've so far spent. Meanwhile, the minority maintained their stance to stay away from the process until the National Identification Authority, NIA, addresses the issue of cost, scope and legalities of the contract. The procurement of, of the process, I mean, we are hearing so many figures, we have 1.2, 1.4, 290, which is which, we want to know. There's some portion of the agreement that they've signed which liken it to some kind of sovereign guarantee. And if you are going to give a sovereign guarantee to any company, you have to bring it to parliament. It's only parliament that gives that. We want to know, is it what we are seeing or is different?